Right now, the Minot School District is looking to sell some of its empty real estate. KX News' William Albert shows us what the Minot School District has doing to get the land ready for a potential sale as we lead local. Making space. That's what the Minot School District is doing with close to 70 acres of land that has remained vacant since the district received it from a developer. The land, which goes from 10th Street Northwest to 14th Street Northwest and sits between 35th Avenue Northwest and 32nd Avenue Northwest, is in the process of trying to be sold after the Minot School Board approved a policy that would allow the district to sell the land earlier this month. Minot Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Scott Fall explained to us where they are in the process. I think there's several steps in that appraisal process. Uh, process. One is um, how much infrastructure is in place within the entire property. We, we do know that two streets have sewer, water, um, electrical, but is it up to the city code? Dr. Fall says while there has yet to be a value put on the property, some have already shown interest in the land. Realtors and developers talk to us about um, there is some limited property within Minot, the city limits. And so we're sitting on some acreage within the city limits that I think is, is desirable. One of the reasons the school district is looking to sell the land is the large amount of maintenance the land needs. Dr. Fall says he would much rather have the land be turned into homes and hopefully attract families. The, the land is sitting idle right now and so obviously to have it developed and, and homes built and people moving into mine it is a benefit and hopefully school age kids moving into mine it that's that would be a benefit to us for sure while it is unclear as to whether the land will be sold at an auction and for how much dr falls says the money from the sale will greatly benefit the district it'll be up to our board um, where we want to use that money if, it, if they want to use it for for building and maintenance projects if they want to use it to to help uh, offset our deficit budget this current school year um, obviously, selling land a one-time sales is not fixing a budget, and so, um, so that those are decisions our board will have to make. In Minot for KX News, I'm William Albert. If the land is purchased, the sale would have to go through by March 1st in order to be ready for the upcoming building season.